Hi, it's Alaska Granny. Teddy and I are out on our shakedown tour with the RV travel trailer that I bought so that I can spend some more time in the lower 48 visiting with my family and helping care for my grandchildren. Anytime you get a new RV or you're heading out for the first time in a long time, it's best to go close to home, see how things go, make sure all your systems are operational, and then bring along paper and pencil so you can make a list of things you've forgotten, things you need to repair, things you need to look up, things you want to know. I wanted to share with you 11 things that I had on my first list from my shakedown tour that I needed to pick up the first opportunity I had. The first thing I discovered is that cell service is extremely limited some of the places that I go, which that's a problem I've dealt with most of my life because I tend to live and travel in somewhat remote areas. So if your cell service might be spotty, make sure absolutely that you tell someone where you're going. I picked up a pair of walkie-talkies so I could communicate with my family and these have worked because they're still nearby. This wouldn't be a long-term solution for long distance, but it's a good way to keep in touch just if you go around in a campground or if one of you wants to spot while the other one is backing up or setting up your RV. This can help you communicate clearly with your family. If you're heading out on a hike even, you can take one of these so you can still have contact if you're in a remote area. The next item is medicines. If you take any over-the-counter or prescription medications, make sure you have a supply of them with you. If there are life-saving medications that you rely on, you need to make sure you have those with you at all times. You should have some in your car, in your handbag, in your bug out bag, and in your travel trailer or your RV. You want to make sure that you have the life-sustaining items that you require. Don't forget a few reusable grocery bags. These are great for just rounding up all the stuff in your RV. You can hang it out of the way, whether it's laundry or excess. RV spaces tend to be extremely small, and so you want to have a way to get all the clutter out of the way. Plus, if you're traveling and you stop at a new area, you want to head into the store, a lot of stores' bags are required. They don't give them out. So it's especially important to remember that if you live in an area where they do provide bags that many areas don't anymore, and this is going to be something that you want to have with you. Cleanup is still vital, and you may not want to have all the sprays and cloths, so get some sanitizing wipes, some wet wipes that you can use to clean up your surfaces is sometimes we need to use a few disposables simply because we don't have the room and we can't carry all the weight of all of the excess paraphernalia that you might be able to have in your home. Personal cleanliness is next. Have some baby wipes, some wet wipes. If for some reason you can't take a shower or your children are with you and they have sticky hands, these are going to make quick cleanup and there's no water required. I stocked up on Kleenex because runny noses are a problem with my family. Plus, you can just grab one, wipe up a mess if you need to. Never put these down the toilet in your home or your RV. These are not meant to be flushed. The only things that should be going down the toilet are things that are coming out of you or something with toilet in the name like toilet paper, not paper towels, not tissues. Those don't go in the toilet. Toilet paper is designed to dissolve in water and tissues, paper towels, they're not like that. Wet wipes never flush anything like that. You will clog up your toilet whether you're in your RV or you're in your home. When I have visitors, I make sure they understand we don't flush any kind of paper in the, to the toilet in the RV, in the travel trailer. It goes into the waste basket that's provided in the bathroom. You don't want to clog up your holding tanks with paper tissues. I have a bottle of white vinegar because not only is this great for sanitizing, it's great for deodorizing, and you can use it for all kinds of purposes. White vinegar has so many uses that it's earned a spot in my travel trailer. The next four items are food items that I wanted to have along. And the first one is Just Add Water Pancake Mix. These are fantastic. You just add water, fry it up in a pan, and you have pancakes. And I found that the Krusties is now making a protein-rich pancake mix, so that's something you might want to look for. If you don't want to bring sticky pancake syrup along, you can always use peanut butter, and one of the things that I found are these little peanut butter to-go cups. They're not the most cost-effective way to have peanut butter, but because of the way the serving sizes are, you always have fresh peanut butter, and if you're just using your RV occasionally, then you don't have to worry about opening a jar, and then maybe you aren't using your RV for a while. 
you can dispose of the cups that you used and the others are still fresh and they're taking up only the amount of space that is required to have those. So these little cups of peanut butter are great. You can hand one to a kid to eat with a spoon. You can spread it on your pancakes. You can still make a peanut butter sandwich. It's a great little grab and go snack that's in a convenient size and sometimes convenience and small spaces are what really matter. Next I wanted muesli which is like granola. You can sprinkle it over your yogurt or you could even cook it a little bit like you would oatmeal and you can have a nice hot cereal. Kraft macaroni and cheese, you can tell my grandchildren are along. It's easy to make the Kraft macaroni and cheese and you don't even have to add the butter and the milk if you don't have it. I've made it many many times without those two items. This is still going to be fine. It's been extremely cold weather on this trip and it's been very cold in the slide out dinette area. So I measured the space and I ordered a rug on Amazon. It fits almost perfectly. It's really helping keep the trailer warmer. If you're new to RVing or it's the first time in a long time, do a shakedown tour. Make sure that you understand all of your systems, how to set up your RV, your travel trailer, how all the systems work, everything from the water to the sewer to the propane, the the holding tanks make sure that you understand all of the systems and you're ready to go if you're close to home it's a lot easier to get home or go find the things you need at stores you're familiar with rather than heading out into the mountains and then finding out you forgot a vital component or something doesn't work right so learn all you can about your RV stock up on the things that you really want to have. Remember that space is limited. Don't stock up with everything you would in your home because there just isn't room and you don't need it all to go out and really enjoy your time. If you enjoyed my video, I hope you'll share it with someone else you think might like it. Please subscribe to the Alaska Granny channel.